Hello guys, Cordy the Booper here. Today with a plug-in tutorial. Um, special effects brought by Steven Diedrich or what the fidge. Anyway, this plug-in tutorial today is on variable triggers. And today I will be telling you what it is, how to do it. Variable triggers basically allows you to make kind of like your own custom plugin. Not exactly. You can make custom commands and triggers to support and back up those commands. And today. My goal is to just give examples on how to do this. We have click triggers, walk triggers, event triggers, and we have area triggers. All of these will result in professional server making, or, you know, it can be very good to do these. I'm going to show you an example of a click trigger. And basically, as I said over here, this action shows a bone. So I'm just going to get a bone real quick. And I'm going to show you an example of a click trigger. What you would do is you do slash VTC, the trigger, and we have our triggers over here. I'll show you at player. At player basically means you would um, send the player a message. At VTC, at player, and then you would send the player a message like, uh, for example, hello. I would right click a place, go to survival, click it, and it would say hello. Okay. I'm going to remove that. I'm gonna actually get a sign out because that's what most people would use. And I call it example sign. And then we'll put hello on that. And what you can also do is select broadcast. So it won't only say hello in right there, but I could broadcast a message like hello server. And then when I click on that, the whole server is going to see that message, but only I see the hello. We can also do at CMD. What this basically does, at CMD makes it so you can let the player execute a command, but only from the set of um, permissions they have. I'd recommend having permissions X or group manager before you do this. But for example, um, spawn. If somebody would click this, they would go to spawn if they had the appropriate permissions, which all my players do. But for example, I'm going to remove that, start fresh. You can also do at cmdlp. This means it'll let the player execute a command, but if, as they were not player. So let's say you wanted to mute what the fidge. click on this, and I cannot mute him because he is op. But even if I was not op, I could execute that command and get that message. And VTCR, by the way, is VT command, um, VT click remove. We can also do at CMD con, as there is some commands that are not appropriate to be executed in chat, and would execute them for you as if you were typing in through a console which I don't really need to demonstrate at the moment. But that's click. You can make it so you can execute on anything. You can also do walk triggers, which is basically the same thing, except you walk into a certain area. I will demonstrate one of these triggers on this area right here, in which I will put a snow block. How about we do a CMD trigger and a player trigger, actually. BT walk at player you have just been teleported to spawn. You right click this area, VT walk at CMD, so they would execute their own permissions, and spawn. You would not want to do slash spawn as it is such as a console, and you do not need the slash before. And say if you were doing world edit command, you would put a slash instead of slash slash. And you would walk here, it would teleport to spawn. And to remove anything, you can just do that on um, the command and press and do R, and that would remove it. Next, we have event triggers. These are cool. There are many different event triggers. You can make it so players can interact 
um, very different variables. When they join, respawn, die, interact, quit, chat, and you can even do timer. I'm going to demonstrate a few of these. Let's say I have hide stream, right? So when people join, it is not viewable. You can only see in the tablets and stuff. Oop, I did not mean to do that. Luckily, I have this. Oh, there we go. Nope. Uh, I'll just put that back. H E E. Uh. Oh yeah, respawn. Okay, let's demonstrate a few of these. So, say I want someone to join and have them a message, right? V T E. Join. And then the command is, you could do the script line, so the um, trigger, at broadcast, and then if you want um, them to see their name in chat, you can do player name, and it'll execute their name, like that, and then you could go like, joined the game, right? Now let's test it. Oh, and there it works. Quarter the burpee joined the game. Great. And it, of course, it teleports me to spawn because I also have that in my join trigger. Okay, I'll demonstrate one more. How about chat? VTE, that's the event, chat. In script line, how about we give the message saying, You just talked in chat as that was not already obvious. I'm going to say hello in chat, and it gives me that message. And to remove the event trigger, you can just do VTER, and then the name of the trigger you want to reset. I think that's enough for event trigger. And the last one is area trigger. This kind of trigger can be very useful, um, mostly in parkour, actually. Um, that could be its main feature, in my opinion. Let's just pretend that this area right here is a parkour. Let's say this area is where the player falls. And in this area, we want people to respawn at their checkpoint. I'm going to be using multiple triggers for this to show you the art of VT. I'm going to put a sign right here saying set checkpoint. I'm going to get a bone. I'm going to do my VT click trigger, because I'm going to click it, right? It's going to op command, because they do not have the permission to set home. It's going to set home parkour. There we go. And now what we want is to click it. It sets home parkour, which I can do because I'm op. Other people can't. When they fall in this hole, we're going to want them to be able to do this. What we're going to do, we're going to do VT set area to set an area. Set the two opposite positions. VT define area parkour example. Now we're going to do VTA parkour example. Enter or exit. This basically means if they are entering it or and if they're exiting it, but we don't have anything below the grass, so it's just going to be enter. And then at CMDOP, home, parkour. Okay, and we're going to click that. Basically, this area is set. Let's pretend there's parkour here. We jump in. It puts us back to our home parkour. Say you even want a command, like slash checkpoint, to go back to your parkour checkpoint. We can even make that. VT, and this is a new command I'm teaching you. It's um, a command trigger. VTCMD, we're going to do the command, which is actually slash, checkpoint, and then we're going to do at CMDLP, home, parkour. And right now, if you do checkpoint, it'll teleport you there, however, it'll say unknown command. To fix this, we do VTCMDO for command override, the name of the command, which is checkpoint, and then we put true. And if for any reason you would want to undo the overwrite, you would do false. And of course, we can do VTCMDR 
So watch checkpoint to remove it. And I'm about to remove this trigger right here. VTAR for area remove. Parkour example. Oh, right, enter. Because we didn't enter a trigger. And now we're going to remove this trigger. VTCR. Right click, remove. And there you have it. That is a basic example of how to use the bucket um, plugin variable triggers. I hope that made the least bit of sense to you. And if it did not, I will also be writing a little bit of a tutorial in the um, description. So thank you for watching. Bye. Hey, hey, Fab, I'ma kill you. Lyrics coming at you with supersonic speed. Ah, some of them are doing, you assume I'm a human. What I gotta do to get it through to you? I'm superhuman, innovative, and I made a rubber so that anything you say is sick of shaking off of me and it'll glue to you. And devastating more than ever, demonstrating how to give a motherfucking audience a feeling like it's levitating, never fading. And I know the haters are forever waiting for the day that they can say I fell off, they'll be celebrating. Cause I know the way to get them motivated, I make elevating music. You make elevator music. Oh, he's too mainstream. Well, that's what they do when they get jealous.